Welcome back to another 12 Travels of Christmas episode. We are on day two in Port Antonio and I am at Errol Flynn Marina. Errol Flynn was an Australian Hollywood actor that fell in love with Port Antonio by pure accident when he sailed to Jamaica due to bad weather. He expressed that Port Antonio was more beautiful than any woman he had ever seen. He purchased the Titchfield Hotel and Navy Island where he hosted a lot of his parties for his celebrity friends. He invited friends like Marilyn Monroe, Catherine Hepburn and the list went on. Errol made Portland famous for being a celebrity hideaway spot and to this day it remains the same. Fun fact, his wife was living in Port Antonio up until her death in 2014. His grandson, Luke Flynn, was born in Jamaica and is still living here. Errol Flynn contributed a lot to Port Antonio in the tourism industry, so you can see why they would name the marina after him. This is a whole experience. They have so many things here for you to explore. This is that's something that you definitely could be here for a day. We're doing a double whammy today because it's a beach plus the entire experience of their marina, picnic site, whatever you want to call it. But this is definitely something to come and experience. So let's see what's going on now. because of COVID time the beach is closed until further notice but as you can see there is something going on here there's an entire beach to explore when you come to the marina it's actually a part of the Errol Flynn ma marina so when you come into the marina you can go to beach there's also Devon ice cream Devon house ice cream there is Knoxford so if let's say you, you took Knoxford to come to Port Antonio, you should take a Knoxford to go back if you that's, that's that's a thing that you chose or your method of transportation. They have restaurants, they have bars here. It's a whole experience. If you have traveling, if you're traveling with a family, if it's a couple give up couple getaway, perfect, perfect spot. So and the beach is kind of ex what you call it secluded. So if you want a little privacy, it is also here. So Come, definitely come and check it out. It's something to see. Alright guys, so I'm here at one of the restaurants at On The Compound. It's called Mary Bell or Ma Mary Bell. But we're gonna check it out. It's a bar and grill. Right. And it's just on the pier right here. That's one of, one of the many restaurants here that you can definitely come and check out. Where you can dine and have a drink or two. So, let's check it out. This is strong. From inside. This is called sperm of the tufo, right? I'm assuming that's some god under the sea. I'm told it's some god under the sea. So, told told by this person who did not research it by himself that it's it's some god under the sea. So if I get pregnant, you know what's up. Oh, that like that drinks was so strong. Like, I'm kind of feel, kind of feel a little dizzy. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little dizzy right now, but we just went to the restaurant, bar and grill, got the drinks. Look, looking like the juice looked like some Smurf looking thing. <laughs> 
actually it had a picture of a smurf i don't know if that's the name of the actual drink but uh yeah we just have the drinks i'm gonna go over to the restaurant now and check it out hopefully they have some really good food it's sunday today so it's a bit mellow the place is quiet and you know we're looking forward to having a great experience here at the marina we're kind of lucky in i forgot you there so but yeah we're gonna go over to the other side to see what is over that side but it's a great experience so far for sure the owners there George, I think the owner name is George by the Marbell. Um, very cool. They made the drinks very strong. <laughs> very, very strong. But I forgot to put on my mask before I go back into that restaurant. But yeah, we are about to go into the next restaurant, get some actual food. I brought lunch, but probably gonna eat that and then eat again <laughs> but yeah this is the day two experience and i'm excited to see the others i know you're excited too i know you're excited too all right guys so over that side it looks like you they can have a small event here it's a seating area and a stage a small stage over this side so you know that if there's an event you can definitely come and check it out or if you if you planning to have an event here you can ask for assistance to get it set up The marina caters to the largest mega yachts in the world and it's the only one of its kind in the entire Caribbean. Ooh. Oh, I mean I have no, no mask. I was just about to go into the Devon House ice cream place. However, in Jamaica now, you cannot enter the building unless you have a mask unless you have a mask so i'm gonna go back head back to the vehicle get my mask and then try to go back into the devon house place it's not devon house they just sell devon house ice cream so it's like a a franchise yo i tell the, the people at Devon House you know, they need with a capital N to export that ice cream because it is like no other and me I can debate upon this Devon House ice cream is the best in the world based on what I have tried so maybe if I go to Europe I'll have a different experience or a different opinion but for now, Devon House for sure has the best ice cream in the world. All right, gonna get the mask and then head back inside the store. All right, I got myself an ice cream cake. I'm gonna head back now. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. All right, guys, I am here on some rock stones <laughs> like extremely near to the sea I can see the fishes here this is it you know I'm heading back to Kingston right now we saw you know what was here we came we explored I hope you enjoy this video and I'm gonna sign out until next time which is tomorrow around this time where we're gonna do day number three and believe me it's gonna be interesting and you're gonna love it I'm gonna try to mix it up with land versus water versus land versus water that sort of thing so that you keep it interesting 
I know we know Portland for having mainly water attractions and trust me I have found some attractions that are on land and not a sea attraction or a water activity so stay tuned and look forward look out for the exciting videos Monday sound hot but see you tomorrow again around this time